Shanghai, con i suoi 24 milioni di abitanti, è la città più golosa del mondo. E io sono qui per scoprire se anche il cibo ci può rendere felici. Lo chiederò proprio a chi mangia per lavoro, un critico gastronomico. Ciao, ciao Carl. All good? Yep, doing well. I'm so pumped out about the day yeah, ahead of us. So what's the plan today? I really want to live a day like a food writer. All right, so we're gonna go to a few street food stops um, and check them out for an article that I'm writing. And oh. then we'll go to a restaurant um, that I'm also checking out. Yeah. So we have to be a little bit discreet for that. Um, okay. But we're mostly gonna hit a bunch of different local Shanghainese places wow. and Chinese food. Look at that. Yeah, so this is a steamed bun, like baozi. Is this breakfast for them? Yeah, so this is breakfast. It's good Chinese, eh? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Could be way better. I only go Chinese. Oh, these two? Yeah. Those are tea eggs. Wow. Alright, I just got a few snacks. So this is the egg. Tea egg. This is the tea egg. Basically, these tea eggs are always sitting like in one of those rice cookers yeah. in a bunch of liquid and then people just get them as a snack. Half, half. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> First time eh, for me. Mm. Mm. This is a baozi, which is basically just like a steamed bun and then they put different fillings in them. So this one is vegetarian. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just greens and tofu and a little bit of mushroom. This one probably won't break super well because it has a bunch of meat in the middle and it's really juicy. So there's a lot of oh. almost soup too, though it's been a little bit absorbed. Okay. Baozi. Outside. The the Chinese breakfast. This is the classic. Chinese, this is like a classic Chinese breakfast, and pretty much all over China. I mean, regionally it does differ some, but you'll get these mm. Beijing, Shanghai, all over. I love it because the bun is sweet, mm -hmm. but then the they are filled. They are stuffed with the salty things, and really good. Do you get used about this breakfast? Yeah, I mean, I think probably when I moved to China ten years ago. I ate a lot of this breakfast. Now, probably, I eat more like yogurt and that sort of thing just in the comfort wow. of my house. Yeah, um, because. But yeah, Chinese breakfast is awesome. Because we just started and we started strong. Mm -hmm. you know? I'm ready for anything because I didn't eat since yesterday oh, night. No. So I wanted to impress you, I wanted to, <laughs> to be ready to try everything. What's the name of those? Uh, these are called guoqie, which means pot sticker essentially. Um, so they're uh, they're a dumpling that's been fried on the bottom. You always stay with the phone? Yeah, pretty much. I like don't even carry a wallet anymore. But how does it work? Uh, so there's like a, basically a super app called WeChat, yeah. um, which is like social media and payment and your entire life pretty much all rolled into one. You scan a QR code and then you pay. Some places don't accept cash anymore. Right over the yeah. How do you call it? Uh, quite Quite chopsticks. Yeah. Um, and then take a little bit of vinegar, and you can also take chili if you want. Okay. Um, so this is not soy sauce. No, this should be vinegar. Okay. You don't use soy sauce? Uh, you do use soy sauce, but not for this. So if you do want chili, it's right there. I don't know, like at 9 a.m. with... <laughs> I, I'll do it, I'll do, do it. it. Do if it. it's the classic thing, yeah. I'll do it. I feel like in one of those <laughs> Netflix uh, TV series where you try everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, so be really it. careful because these ones, they put like a little bit of soup in it. You need to bite a little bit and then suck out the soup. Otherwise, you're gonna burn your mouth. So how many things do you try a day? For efficiency, try to like uh, put all of my tastings and that sort of thing in one day, if possible. Uh, so go hit a bunch of different places, and then the next day, you know, stay at home and read about it. Uh, 
know, a review of a new like so Peruvian so Japanese food. Yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> You're hungry, so. And that's the most common thing is people burn their mouths. Yeah. It's so delicious that you want to eat it, but you have to try it to be patient. Mm -hmm. How is it? Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. One to ten. I feel like it's a nine to ten out of ten. I think a lot of times, like the basic street food is kind of the best. What do you think? Out of mm. ten. <laughs> it's actually really, really good. Mm -hmm. One of the best I've ever tried. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. Crunchy, on the base, juicy, really, really, really good. Am I right or do they put garlic everywhere? Um, like there is garlic everywhere. Yeah, I mean, they do eat a lot of garlic. Like in, in the north of China, you'll eat dumplings, like just boiled dumplings, and they have just a basket of raw garlic cloves. Really? And people will just eat it. So they'll dip it in vinegar eat a dumpling and then eat a bite of raw garlic which is like very intense wow yeah. it's healthy but yeah. not very social you know like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> after that you for your job you have to review restaurants but you also have to review hotels right yeah i do do some hotel reviews. okay so can we say that for living you have to eat i have to sleep <laughs> yes, so exactly. It sounds like the the dream job for everyone, but I want to know the, the truth. I want to know, is it that good for real or there is also like a down part? Um, I mean, it is great and I feel super lucky, um, but it's definitely, it is work when, you know, you're going to write a review or you're going to a restaurant to try it. Um, or you're putting together a roundup of different places people should go in Shanghai or staying over at a hotel, like... Yes, it's wonderful, but it also is a job and you have to be, you know, sort of constantly on your game and like taking notes yeah. um, and thinking about yeah, what you think would improve the experience or like be really critical so you can't just sort of sit back and enjoy it. So it's not... You have to be always focused right. about your taste, your feelings, your... Yeah, exactly. Your and sort of always have like a critic's hat on. I mean, you cannot complain, but still, I understand it's a job. <laughs> it's a real job. I mean, and it's like, I think a lot of people say this when they have to say like, eat for, for work, but like, you eat a lot of bad things too, right? Like, yeah, really? it's not just like, everything is wonderful. What's the worst thing that ever happened to you? Anything that was truly horrible, I probably repressed. <laughs> um, but definitely, I mean like, a couple months ago, I had to go review a new restaurant and there was, I found like a grub, like a worm in the salad. Oh, which nice. Which was just pretty, Lots of proteins. Yeah, 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 it was fine. I'm like pretty chill. I don't <laughs> mind eating insects actually, but it definitely wasn't supposed to be there. If we were just normal customers, we probably would have put it to the side. Yeah. But if you're reviewing a place, you kind of have to note that yeah. and see how this, the server is going to respond to it. So we, we took it out and we showed the server. She offered to change it. Yeah. Um, and then I think we probably really surprised her because we were like, no, 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 it's fine. We can still eat this. And she's oh. like, then why did you show me the worm? But then um, you had to review it. But then we had to review it. And for that, I think it's a little bit tricky because that's one of those things where, yes, that happened once, you know, yeah. but maybe we would have gone like four more times and there never would have been a worm, right? What? So then what do you do in that yeah. situation? Yeah, what do you do? Um, so in that, actually, I didn't end up mentioning it. There were other more major issues about the food that, okay. like, I didn't think were as good. Oh, let's try this. This is a jambing. It's like a breakfast crepe. Um, and... Um, so that's, like, chili sauce. Oh. Boom. Wait, how much was it? Uh, this was six RMB. Less than uh, one dollar? Pretty much, yeah. I don't understand the meaning of all the things inside. I'm starting to feel <laughs> full. Yeah. How much do you eat? Um, really depends. I think it's a little bit feast or famine. Um, like some days I have to eat five meals, more mm. than five meals. Yeah. I'll have two dinners, three dinners in a row. Really? Um, occasionally. That's like, it is an exception, but it happens. Um, and then other days, like, 
after a day like that, I probably don't feel like eating for another 24 hours. So that's really good, actually. Yeah, it's I changed really my nice, mind. Right? It's really good. <laughs> this I'm definitely not reviewing. Um, this is just like a typical what we call a wet market. So it's like a Chinese vegetable market, and they also do uh, fish and meat and that sort of thing. Um, but I just wanted to show you because you'll get a look at some cool Chinese vegetables, some tofu products, and all of that. Here we have a whole variety. That looks like pig. Here we have duck, I believe. So there's roast ducks and prepared meats. Um, and I see some chicken feet over there that I think we should try. Um, and also some pig ears down there. I don't think I'm gonna like it, but I promise you that I would have tried anything, so I'm gonna try it. I mean, one was enough, eh? <laughs> oh man, I'm so scared. What, what are you ordering? Uh, pig ears. Pig ears? Oh. Chicken feet. Very elegantly, which I definitely can because it just involves chewing the outside. So I'm gonna let you go first. I don't know why I feel like I have to do it because I, I shouldn't. But mama mia, it's cute. What do you think? Delicious. So tasty, so good. But the taste is garlic, like completely, like it's full, full of garlic. What's the weirdest thing you ever tried in your life? I Probably. Keep burping. <laughs> A lot of the things that are considered delicacies, I'm just not that into, like bird's nest, which is essentially bird spit, or like sea cucumber, um, which basically just sort of look like slugs, like spiny slugs, which is just, I don't know, not something that I would pay a premium price for, and yet that happens here. Pig ears! Alright, so oh. here we go, pig ears. You go first. They've also tossed it with some cilantro and peanuts and garlic. Hmm. Oh. There are so many things. So much garlic. <clears throat> you don't even. I'll, I'll try another one. Okay, the taste is good. The taste is okay. The only thing is that I know that these are ears, so I'm a little bit... Well, lots of garlic. <laughs> wow. I think that most of the times it's psychological. If, I, if you would tell me, this is tofu, this is crunchy tofu made in... I would have loved it. But knowing that, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what is that? Garlic. Yeah, I'm thinking I keep burping the, the garlic since this morning. Ooh. We started at 9 a.m. to eat garlic, and now. Oh, well, now I'm gonna take you actually just down the street, um, and we'll go to a soup dumpling restaurant, which is like iconic Shanghai cuisine, and try some soup dumplings. No garlic, please. No garlic. No garlic. <laughs> <laughs> I feel there like... will be vinegar. Vinegar? There will be vinegar. And maybe it's gonna help. Maybe a tiny bit of garlic. Wow. So we're about to go into the Shaolingbao place and um, just do be a little bit discreet so that yeah. they don't know. This is hot water. This is hot water, yeah. So that's pretty like typical in China. It's basically just everyone drinks hot water because for like traditional Chinese medicine, drinking anything cold is not supposed to be good for you. Um, so people just drink a lot of hot water. It was just a shock for me when I arrived here because I asked for water and they brought me hot water. I was like, why? Like, <laughs> I don't want hot water. For me, it's so weird. And every time I go to restaurants, they bring me hot water. 
谢啊。不要拍不起了。嗯，好了，妥。就结束。These are called shawangbao, um, which basically is a soup dumpling, like little dragon dumpling. Um, so these are really typical of Shanghai. Enjoy. How do you say enjoy in Chinese? You would say like man man shi, which means like eat slowly. Can do you think the food can make you happy? Oh yeah, yeah, it can definitely make you happy. <laughs> Things that makes me the most happy is when it's surprising. Like, I mean, I like comfort food and that sort of thing, of course, and things that remind me of childhood. But for me, I think food is really exciting when it's new um, and when you taste something that maybe you never thought could ever exist. Um, and that sort of like that surprise is really like a joy, a joyful thing, I think, and brings a smile to my face. How is it? Mm, I think this place is probably like a. I think it's like a six or a seven. Wow. Don't worry, guys. We'll keep in consideration also the service, the the ambience. Don't worry. Don't worry. We just started. Mm. Wow. Well, to me it is much more than a six. All the things that we tried today, apart from the chicken food, they were amazing. Like they were the best I've ever tried so far in China. What is the recipe of happiness for Kat Nelson? A professor of mine once said that like happiness is a transitory state, right? You can't constantly be happy. Happiness is moving from being less satisfied or less happy to then increasing, right? So it's not something that will last forever. So I think that like remembering like how yeah how lucky that you are, which is for a lot of us very very lucky globally. Um, and that in your mind, then you can sort of make that transition happy to being like, oh, things could be so much worse. And it's easy to get absorbed in your own little world, um, but being able to like sort of zoom out from that and realize like where you are and yeah, what your privilege is, I think is really important. Now we have spoke about happiness. What's the review about this restaurant? Just <laughs> <laughs> let me know. <laughs> I mean, I'm quite happy here right now, so I think it's great. Bye bye. See you. See you. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, Kat. Bye bye. bye. Kat. <laughs> Oggi ho capito due cose. La prima è che la vita è un po' come il cibo. Se mangi sempre le stesse cose, prima o poi ti annoia. Ma se ti apri a tutti i gusti del mondo senza timore di assaggiarli, magari hai la fortuna di scoprire qual è il piatto che ti fa davvero, davvero felice. La seconda è che non digerisco bene l'aglio. 